Christian News from English Christian Times. Nineveh Plains Transitional Justice Report, June. June marks the anniversary of ISIS capture of Mosul, the capital of Nineveh Governorate in 2014. Six years later, the challenges which contributed to the rise of ISIS remain deeply ingrained even while new ones emerge. Christian man shot for living in a Muslim neighborhood in Pakistan dies. According to local reports, Nadim Joseph, a Christian from the TV colony of Peshawar, the capital of Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, died yesterday as a result of gunshot wounds he received on June 4. Seven Christian converts sentenced in Iran. On June 21, seven Iranian Christians converts from the southern city of Bashir were sentenced for propaganda against the state. They have 20 days to file an appeal. U.S. foreign policy must consider private sector humanitarian aid. In a recent tweet, Ambassador San Brownback praised faith-based humanitarian NGOs for their roles in addressing the world refugee crisis. Today, non-governmental humanitarian assistance forms a critical piece of the world's humanitarian response apparatus. Priests under fire for calling back Lives Matter protesters, maggots and parasites. A Catholic priest in the United States has been condemned for comparing Black Lives Matter activists to maggots and parasites. Benedict XVI's brother George Ratzinger has died. Benedict XVI's old brother George Ratzinger died on Wednesday, just a little more than one week after the Pope Emirates' visit. Monsignor George Ratzinger died in Bavaria at the age of 96 on 1st July. Refugees make face masks to help American evangelical churches fight coronavirus. Refugees in the largest refugee camp in Europe have made thousands of cotton face masks, some of which are being distributed at evangelical churches in the United States as a way to give back to people in the West and help them battle the coronavirus. Amid statue toppling, let's avoid a cultural revolution, Cardinal Tolan. Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York wrote Sunday that the destruction of monuments is detrimental to the knowledge of history and warned against a cultural revolution like that of China under Mao Zedong. What the Scottish decision on anti-trafficking rules means for pro-life policies. The Supreme Court is deciding major life and religious freedom cases this term, but one less recognized ruling could impact billions of dollars in U.S. foreign aid. Santiago de Compostela Cathedral reopens to pilgrims. Pilgrims can walk the Camino de Santiago once again as the pilgrimage destination. The Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela reopened its doors Wednesday. Hold your eyes on God and leave the doing to Him. That is all the doing you have to worry about. St. Jane Francis D. Chantel. News Desk, English Christian Times.